Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> really? After all these years? Make sure the mic's on the other side. Play the camera. What's that? Yeah. Uh, this is called Ghosts. Bridges and tunnels, not such a foreign experience to most. So it's curious when the town folks foster not community, but fear, as strangers similar in sentiment take those same roads home. Sharp as attack, and working mind and body to the bone for pennies on the dollar, so his family can eat three squares for at least another day. But Jesus's fingers, usually so steady, plying the wood despite carrying calluses and scabs and splinters, and now not able, not able to keep the level straight as he keeps hearing footsteps and whispers. And when the dawn unfurls the last edge of the night, Jesus is gone. Maria, selling fresh beefsteak tomatoes at the market by day, and making the open mic by night, where the words etched from her quill thread together like the stems and petals of lilies into a quilt of language plush with passion. And a dozen poetry lovers in the house clap their hands. But walking on clouds through her car, she's pelted by rotten fruits thrown by rednecks until Maria is gone. What looks like some sadistic statistic algorithm reads like prose to Kareem, whose fingers dance upon the keyboard like a virtuoso penis doing a Beethoven boogie woogie with lines and lines of computer coding to keep the bad guys at bay till the bits and bites are misread with hysteria over a too smart dark skinned man who knows now only that Kareem is gone. Kiana's kitchen was once just a Susie Bake oven, churning out chocolate chip hockey puck pucks, but shadowing her mother's every move led to a love of cooking and a culinary career with a restaurant in a quiet little town where people wave and smile until out of sight when a match lights kerosene and the eatery smolders until Kiana is gone. A shame that the land where it costs nothing to dream cannot be shared by those working to fulfill hopes in tandem with the spirit of our ancestors. Thank you. This is called Wrong Way. Can't keep your eyes off the car wreck with body bags of blood stained, asphalt, and the smell of fuel in the humid air. Apparently the poor bastard took the road to desecrate liberty, diminish rights, disregard equality, disintegrate the Constitution, defile the press, defame the decent, divide the country, defend bigotry, detest tolerance, despise minorities, deport immigrants, deflect responsibility, display treason, disallow protections, deny health insurance, demean women, demoralize children, disavow families, defund the middle class, disenfranchise voters, degrade education, depress economies, deter allies, declare war, Dismiss the arts, devolve science, disembowel wildlife, defecate on the environment, destroy the planet, devalue compassion, decommission poetry, decommission poetry, not on our watch. That's right. Apparently the poor bastard took the wrong way. <laughs> Thanks so much. I'm sorry to Lou O'Neill. I, I missed him. I guess he was here earlier. Um, I wrote this for Memorial Day, and uh, this is called Endurance. Jimmy from Oak 
would probably wear the leather out of that new Rawlings baseball glove in a week of American Legion play. Jenny from Rombau, looking like an actress in that gold chiffon prom dress from the cute shop across the river. But reels of memory go even further back to trips to the Galleria to buy the newest in G.I. Joes and Barbie dolls for the elaborate stage of a child's imagination. An imagination wall to wall with steel chinned heroes and princesses splendid in body, soul, and mind. The same children who a dozen years later arrive home in flag draped coffins. Imaginations abruptly ended in a battlefield thousands of miles away from a small but loving hard scrabble town by the water. A shame. Disputes aim to be settled by bullets and not dialogue. With the dust of dreams, the only thing settling atop graves dug too damn soon. But footsteps will always follow you home from the grassy knolls of the sunlit cemetery with whispers tucked in the talons by carrier pigeons shadowing us on the breeze, reminding of the strength shown by the courageous warriors dying on their shields, allowing us the strength that we need to carry the vessel, cradling the best parts of them forever in order to honor and maintain their resolve to make the world a better place, not just you and me, but each and every one of us. Thank you so much. Thank you, Amy.